Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a book reorganization video where I'm going through every single shelf to reorganize it to finally get the shelves that I want. Basically, as you're gonna see, all of my books are usually just stacked onto a shelf, like a regular bookshelf, but I really wanna make it look aesthetically pleasing and just revamp my space to make it something that I love. So if you have not seen my most recent video, it is a book unhaul where I go through every single book currently on my shelves and get rid of the ones that do not spark joy for me. But today we're taking all of the books that I'm keeping from that declutter and putting them on my shelves in a way that I enjoy and that looks very nice and is aesthetically pleasing to me and my space. So without further ado, let's just get into the video. So first thing I wanted to do is show you what my bookshelves currently look like. Uh, they're a little bit chaotic right now, um, but this first bookshelf we have here is a room and board bookshelf that has been in my family for decades. We have a lot of current TBR on here. A lot of my boyfriend's fantasy collection is on here. This is our main bookshelf. It's a little bit chaotic right now, but we're going to just revamp the whole thing. And I want to make this one look the most aesthetically pleasing because it is right in our walkway. So that is the goal for this one. The next bookshelf I have to show you here is a built-in in our apartment. Uh, it contains mostly random fantasy trilogies and hardback sets, um, and then honestly just a bunch of nonfiction and a lot of textbooks are on the lower shelf right now. We need to redo this whole thing. I'm thinking about putting majorly fantasy on here um, and making it look more aesthetically pleasing than it already is. Next bookshelf we have is a stackable bookshelf where we have attempted to do a rainbow situation here, but it kind of has gotten messed up. Uh, we just need to make this look more aesthetically pleasing. I want to actually not have major gaps throughout the bookshelf and make it look a little bit more pleasing to the eye. Last thing we have is another stackable bookshelf and this is back in our office space. Currently we have on here a bunch of book of the month books and then also a bunch of other TBR books. It just does not look good right now and I want to make this probably something more along the lines of some textbooks and nonfiction that we can leave in this office because uh, no one really comes in here other than my boyfriend to work. So let's clean off the shelves and get to it.
Okay, so here is the finished product. Okay, so from when I was originally reorganizing it, I kind of changed it up a little bit. I wanted to be very intentional with what books I put on what shelves. So this was all classics, like I showed you, I didn't change any of that. Here I wanted to put all my five star, like just any five star read, specifically more literary fiction on here, even though this one is not a five star. But I just wanted this to be more of like my top literary fiction books. Okay, so this shelf is pretty much all literary fiction TBR. I have some of the Women's Prize for Fiction long list here that I want to read. This is kind of like mixed TBR, mixed already read. So I have like some mystery thriller because I just don't like keep a lot of mystery thriller in general. Have a handful of literary fiction and then some other books that I wanted to read here. Uh, some from Book of the Month. I have not read any of those here at all. And these last two shelves I have for like fantasy TBR that I want to get to soon. Also just like pretty covers because it's pretty. And then here I took all of the Book of the Month sleeves off. I don't know. I've had the sleeves on the Book of the Month ones for so long. So I took them all off and I kind of like how it looks a little bit better. Originally I had put these kind of scattered up in the bookshelf, but there was so much mustard yellow and I just didn't want that vibe. So I feel like it looks pretty good here and then also has this kind of like Adobe painting that I have. Yeah, and I kind of like the way that this looks. Okay, so next we have this built in here, which I'm going to be doing primarily for fantasy and like bigger, you know, collectible items like this here. I don't want to hear a single thing about the amount of mass market paperbacks we have. My boyfriend really enjoys them and I'm gonna give that to him. I don't care, it's not a big deal. Let's get going. Okay, so this is an overview of this built in here. So I put all of the Brandon Sanderson kind of in this one area here. We have some Lord of the Rings and then Game of Thrones there. I thought this just was like the high epic fantasy shelf. I really like how it turned out. And I think the mass market paperbacks don't really look that bad. Uh, next we have the Wheel of Time shelf, which this is, we don't have every single book. Some of them are on Kindle, others are on audio and whatnot, but we have two of like the cool original hardcovers. Um, so I wanted to display those. Next I have our, my Harry Potter shelf with all of my old Harry Potter books. And then also um, some newer hardcovers that I purchased a few years ago, which I really love. And then I have my middle grade shelf. Not all of these are middle grade, but I wanted to do kind of like middle grade fantasy, YA fantasy stuff um, down here. And I, I did display some covers that I really love. So I really, really like how this shelf turned out. I think it's really nice and it definitely encaptures how we like to read. So really love how that turned out.
Okay, so that is this shelf. Basically, this shelf consists of, there's like some random cookbooks there, and then nonfiction, 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 romance, 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 and some sci-fi, just like a few random sci-fi books that we have. And then so much more room for activities up here, AKA we can get more books that we actually like. Yeah, these ones are kind of just more just stack as many as you can on top of them. And it's not really more of an aesthetic thing, so. Okay, so I didn't feel the need to show this part, but essentially I put all of my textbooks and our old school stuff and just random nonfiction religious uh, books on here. We don't ever use this office for any kind of like entertainment or anything. So I just thought this was probably the best place to put all of them. I mean, it looks decent. It's not bad or anything, but we have a little bit of space at the top up there for other things if we want to add on. So I like how that turned out. So that concludes today's bookshelf reorganization. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you liked it or enjoyed it, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you would like to join this community of readers here. If you are interested in any of the books that I have hauled recently, make sure to check out this video here where I take you book shopping in Minneapolis where I live and I show you some of my favorite bookstores around the area. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Have a great rest of your day. Bye!